I was sent this battery charger by a company called Top Don. Uh, the charger is called the Tornado 4000. They reached out to me to see if I wanted to review some of their products and I thought well probably the, the most useful thing for motorcyclists is going to be a battery charger. So I asked them to send me a battery charger suitable for motorcycles. Now this battery charger can charge motorcycles but in reality I think it's more of a general purpose charger. It's suitable for charging cars, trucks, RVs, boats, uh, campers, um, farm equipment, farm machinery and motorcycles so it's a it's a charger that really can do it all but there is a cost to that and that is it's not really optimized for charging motorcycles now when i say that it's certainly perfectly fine for charging motorcycles it's just that the connectors are not what you would expect to see on a battery charger for charging motorcycles when I first opened the package, uh, everything was really well packaged and, and well presented and it looked like a quality product and I still, I still feel it is a quality product. But I was disappointed when I tried to connect it to my SAE connector on the motorcycle to, to discover that the connector is a proprietary topped on connector. Now to their credit they do supply a pigtail which matches this connector and I did end up installing that on my motorcycle and I was in two minds about whether to connect that to my motorcycle or not or try and get an adapter that could adapt this connector to the SAE connector but after contacting Top Don they don't have an adapter so so in the end I decided to install the Top Don pigtail in conjunction with the SAE uh, pigtail I already have on the bike. Okay I've taken the screws out let's see what we've got. I do have a pigtail connector already installed and uh, as you can see it's the standard SAE connector for charging batteries now this is um this is what this is what I was saying uh, I really I really hope that Top Don do fit or include in their packaging uh, in the future an adapter that allows me just to plug my existing pigtail straight into the charger rather than have to take this pigtail off and rewire a, a new connector in. That leads me to another issue where the pigtail is not really 100% waterproof or protected in any way from water, dust, uh, road grime. You can see what I've done there, I've cut the finger off a rubber glove and just put an o-ring on the actual um, piece of rubber glove finger to uh, just to try and protect it from dust and water. As you can see on my bike it's pretty protected. It's, it's tucked away in the storage compartment where the fuel tank normally resides and I just removed the panel and then put the connector in there. And so that, that's going to be fine for me but I am reluctant to call it a dedicated motorcycle charger because I think to be a dedicated motorcycle charger you want a standard SAE connector because uh, let's face it most bikes these days do come with that pigtail already pre-installed from the dealership. So what I like about the charger is that uh, when you first plug it in and you um, connect it to your battery, the first thing you need to do is select the mode and then it straight away diagnoses your battery and goes through a nine step process to ensure firstly that the battery is stable enough to be charged and it also then checks what needs to be done to keep the battery in good condition including running a high frequency pulse just to break down any sulfates before the battery starts charging. Now sulfates are like crystals that build up on your battery plates over time and they can degrade the performance of the battery. So what this will do is it'll just go through and put a pulse through and some voltage through just to, to try and break down as much of the sulfates as it can before it starts charging. So it just steps up the charging process in smaller increments and it, it starts off with a soft charge just to get things going and then it switches to a bulk charge mode where it'll take the battery up to 80% and then it backs off the voltage to then take it to 90% until it goes to the next step which then takes it up to 100% fully charged. And once it's at 100% then it'll switch to a float charge or a trickle charge and just hold the battery at that level and, and condition the battery at the same time. So feature wise I think um, I'm really pleased with the charger. I think they've done a really good job in the way it um, handles charging batteries. I also like that as soon as you switch to a mode, you wait a few seconds and, it, and it, it, you can see it doing the diagnosis and it shows you what state of charge your battery is at. In the case of my bike, the battery was at 100% state of charge. Now, originally I started off in the normal mode and then I went back and read the manual 
and I should have been charging or testing in the 12 volt small mode because my battery is less than 50 amp hours. In fact, the battery on my bike is 11.8 amp hours. So, so after switching to 12 volt small normal, I then saw that my battery was indeed at 100% state of charge. So I was in two minds about um, making this video because you know, ideally I wanted to show you guys a dedicated motorcycle battery charger. But in reality, this is a charger for covering uh, all sorts of vehicles. So, so I actually thought about not showing the video or releasing the video at all. But then I thought, you know what, we've all got cars, we've got trucks, we've got um, RVs, we've got recreational vehicles, we've got vehicles other than motorcycles. So I think as a charger, um, I really do like the product and it's really well built. The case is of a, st a really sturdy ABS plastic. It's also IP65 waterproof rating, so it's protected against dust and water and things like that. So, so as a unit, I'm very, very pleased with the unit. And in addition to the pigtail, it does come with these alligator clips. So, you know, car batteries, truck batteries, you can just pop that on. And if you do have a battery which is more heavy duty than that, they do have heavier duty charges again. So, which can go up to... 1000 amp hours and 2800 amp hours when you consider my motorcycle batteries 11.8 amp hours that's um they're pretty heavy duty charges so i thought you know what the i think this product is a is a good product and um I'm, I'm pleased with it i'll be keeping it for my motorcycle and i'll be using it for my motorcycle i do wish it had an sae charger and i do wish the pigtail had weather and water protection because even if you permanently connect that to your car battery you're still going to want to have that connector protected from dust water and uh, just the elements I, I believe okay i think that about wraps it up so that's the tornado 4000 charger from top don um yeah I, I like the product i'll be keeping the product i'll be using the product and top don have uh, kindly given me a discount code for you guys if you decide that you'd like to look at buying one yourself so if you look in the description below you'll see that discount code and um yeah check it out and and see what they're offering if you'd like to see me do more product reviews, let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching if you've made it this far. And until next time, bye for now.